In this question, we will consider how to account for a bond redemption prior to maturity. On January 1st, 2020, Jamil Incorporated redeemed bonds prior to their maturity date of January 1st, 2021. The face value of the bonds was 800,000 and the redemption was performed at 97. As, as at the redemption date, the unamortized premium was $6,500. Prepare the corporation's journal entry to record the redemption of the bonds. Okay, so we know that if we had fully amortized these bonds, they would have been on our statement of financial position at 800,000. However, these bonds were supposed to be redeemed. Um, these bonds were not fully amortized. So they were redeemed on, they were issued on January 1st, 2020, and they were redeemed on January 1st, 2021. So only one year later. So let's, the first thing we need to figure out is what, how much the bonds are going to be recorded on our statement of financial position. So we're told that the unamortized premium was $6,500. So we can, so then the bonds must have been recorded on our statement of financial position. If they were recorded at a premium, then they would have been recorded at the face value plus the premium. So our pre we're told that the unamortized premium was 6,500. So the total of those two is what, how is the value of the bonds on our balance sheet? So 806, 500. So that's how much the bonds must be recorded on our balance sheet right now. We're also told that the bonds, so this is our statement of financial position. We're also told that the bond redemption was performed at 97. So what's 97? We're going to take 800,000 times 97%. That means that we actually bought back the bonds for 776,000. Hmm, that's interesting. So we had the bonds recorded on our statement of financial position at 806,500, and we bought back the bonds one year later for 776,000. So how do we record this? And where does the balancing entry go in our journal entry? Well. We know that we need to take the bond payable off our statement of financial position. So we're gonna debit bond payable to remove the liability, move the credit balance of the liability, bond payable. So we're gonna be taking off this 806, 500 because we need to remove it from our statement of financial position. We're also going to need to pay out to the bondholders this amount that we're told we did the redemption at. So we're gonna go credit cash, of 776,000. But now of course our balance, our journal entry doesn't balance. So what's the other side? Well, the other side is gonna be a gain or a loss. In this situation, it's a gain because we bought back the bonds for less than we had them valued on our statement of financial position. So it's gonna be called gain on bond redemption. And it's gonna be the difference between these two amounts, which is going to be 30,500. And once we've booked that journal entry, this, the bond payable would be removed from our statement of financial position, we would have settled the bonds in cash, and we would have recorded this gain. So this would have gone through our income statement.